Most of us who drive have been stopped by police employees. Some may think the traffic stop fairly innocuous, a matter of routine. They may even tell themselves, I got caught. But caught doing what? Most of us stopped haven't hurt anyone or damaged the property of another. Common sense tells us that when there's no victim, there's no crime. Can I ask what you got stopped for, sir? Speeding. <laughs> Talk about speeding. <laughs> How's it going? Yeah, I was just curious. That last gentleman said he was stopped for maybe going faster than some folks said he yeah, should, sir, but we're not gonna have a conversation. Have a good night. the way y'all left the area, it seemed pretty fast to me. Yeah, we've been conditioned to defer to strangers who violate our rights so long as they don a certain costume. But if the same act, hindering your freedom of movement and issuing you a ransom, was done by someone wearing different attire, you wouldn't recognize it for what it is. Theft. A shakedown. Highway robbery. We're in overtime right now for traffic enforcement. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I guess you got to pay for that okay. then. Yeah. I'm not paying mm. for it. No, the people you pull over do it. If everyone cowers to the schoolyard bully, that bully will only become emboldened to demand more and mistreat more. The same is true of police. They are incentivized to serve and protect the bad ideas upon which their institution is based, while those claimed to be protected get shaken down, caged, or killed as a matter of routine. All police employees, no matter how nice or well-intentioned they individually may be, claim the right to do things considered wrong for me or you. Calls for police accountability are fruitless until this underlying cause is addressed. If you value justice and self-determination, see through the double speak of police outfits and government indoctrination centers that preach equality while ascribing some to be authorities. Predators, whether a schoolyard bully or police employee, dislike transparency. Filming can be a powerful, peaceful way to protect your rights and the rights of others stopped by police. So too can choosing not to automatically pay whatever ransoms may be issued. Where is the victim in this alleged crime? Where's the victim? What do you mean? The justice system depends on compliance. If you find yourself targeted for a victimless act, consider not automatically forking over your hard-earned cash. It won't happen overnight, but as we each withdraw our support, both mental and financial, we'll affect real change. They're happy customers! <laughs> They're happy customers! Wow!